Hey guys, welcome back to Automation Elan. I'm your friend Suresh Dubey. So guys, this is the another video where we are going to discuss Java programming related interview questions. Before that, I have already covered couple of more topics in Java. You can refer this playlist on my YouTube channel and you can watch the video accordingly. So in this video, we are going to refer a code snippet and we will try to figure out the output of the given code. And we will also understand the concept around that. This is the simple code snippet I have. So this is a class discuss to string method. So basically we are going to focus our discussion related to to string method in Java. So that's why I have given a name as a discuss to string method. And here I have a to string variable name and author. This is a constructor I have public constructor and it's accepting two parameter name and author. And uh, here I am just assigning that to name and author to this variables. And uh, this is a main method here. I am creating an object of my class, this class DM and I am passing these two variables. So name is automation Elon and author is Suresh. So these are the two values which are I am passing for object DM. And I'm just printing DM. So here we have to figure it out. What will be the output in this case? So you can pause the video. You can think about it and then you can continue this discussion to understand the concept around that. Okay, let's try to execute this program and see what is the output that we are getting. Okay, so here we are getting detail of the class like this is the package and this is the name of the class and this looks like some address in the memory where this object DM object is created. So this is the output that we are getting now for DM object. We have a couple of values that we have assigned to name and author, right? Should it not be the case that when we are printing DM, we should get these values that we have sent while creating an object. Why we are getting this output? This is of no use, right? So here we have to understand couple of concepts that we created a DM object. We assigned few values over here and we are just printing DM. So what happens is there is a method called to string which is basically defined in the object class and it is applicable to all the classes that we define. So object is a parent class that we have and all other classes that we define object class will be extended automatically. So to get these values in the output, we have to define two string method here in this class. So there is a fixed signature of two string that we have to follow. Two string should be public. It should return a string and name and it should not take any parameter. So this is the two string method. And here we have to add a return statement because it's returning a string. Here I can mention the format in which I want value to be printed for the object DM. So here I can give like I'm expecting name equal name. And uh, here I can give author equal. So basically here we define a format. I'm expecting name equal to this name comma then author equal to this author. So whatever value of name and author we are sending from here, it should be printed for the object DM right in the two string method. We have defined our format from where this two string is coming. We are not calling that to string anywhere here, right? We have just defined it. So basically to string method is coming from the object class. So if you look at this is the object dot class. So there is a class called object, which is the super class of all the classes present in Java. In object class, there is a method called to string. And if we will not define to string method in our classes explicitly, then this to string will be applicable and it will tell you get class dot get name. So that's why we are getting this part of the output at the rate. So this is the at the rate and that is for some memory address where this object is created. If we will not define to string method in our class explicitly, then this to string method will be applicable. Why it will be applicable because object class is the super class of all the classes. So you can consider it like this extends object. All the classes that we define 
it is like this the name of the class and by default it will extend object even though we will not mention this but object will be extended over here so two string method will be called and this statement will get executed and that's why we are getting this output but we are expecting some other output we are expecting like okay when i print this dm object i should be getting the values associated with this particular object right so for that purpose you have to overwrite two string and signature should be same as this public string with no parameter public string and no parameter name should be exactly matching with this one and inside that we can define our own format on which i am expecting value to be printed for better understanding we can also use override annotation over here so it will be very clear that okay this is the two string method which we are overriding if we will not override then also it will work fine but adding a override annotation will increase the readability of the code now this two string method which belongs to object class will not be called this is the one which will be called and in that method i have defined some other format so now we should be getting the output in this format so we have not made any other changes we have just added we have just override two string method and uh, let's try to run this now if i'll run this so now we have a different format here because of this two string method we are getting a name equal to name so name equal to automation elon and author equal to author author equal to suresh we can also create another object for example i am creating a dm1 and i am passing some other value like this now also when this statement get executed where i am printing dm1 so for this object also two string method will be applicable automatically and it will print a value that we are supplying from here so let's execute this now and that is for dm and that is for dm1 simple thumb rule if we will not override two string method then object class two string method will be applicable but if we want the value to be printed in a different format then we have to override two string method and that will be applicable automatically to all the objects that we create so overriding two string is important if you want output in a format which you can refer and make some sense so that was the whole concept let's recap couple of important points so object class is the super class of all the classes whatever class you define in java or whatever other class which are already exist in the java library object class will be super class so even though you will not mention you will not extend object class but it will be act as a super class by default second two string method which is coming from the object class will be applicable by default to all the objects so initially we have not overridden this when i was printing dm so two string method from this was applicable but we can override two string method to get the output in a different format so that is the one important concept we have to remember we have to understand whenever we are printing any object all right so i hope guys you understood the concept and uh, this video has added a value to your knowledge and i'll see you soon with another great topic in java Meanwhile if you are new to the channel you can subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends thank you for running this one thank you